I wonder what what else does it add to the game, or does it just make that you're able to go between the two? Just makes her able to go between the two. What it adds is it adds the weapons that are unique to both games. Oh, that's kind of cool. There's weapons and armor that are unique to both games. Right. And since you're since you didn't play Fallout Three before you went to New Vegas, it doesn't really matter. But the other thing it adds is it basically just adds the fall uh, the Fallout New Vegas engine into Fallout Three, so you can oh. actually aim in first person. Because Fallout Three didn't have first person aim. Right. Not first person. I'm sorry. They didn't have iron sights. Did it? Wait, did it really not have first person iron sights? I could have swore it did. No, there are no iron sights. There were sniper scopes, but no iron sights. Oh, that's what I was remembering, sniper scopes. Your locker. That's a turret. A geometry, please, can I jump? Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Overclock turret. I love it. Turret straight up has RTX on. Uh, Fallout 3 is Oblivion with guns. Nah. Oh, you have to have the, the new, the upgraded gun for that. Okay. That's not entirely true. Like, Having played Fallout 3 and having played Oblivion, Oblivion more, far more extensively, that's not accurate. Mm, Mentats. What's up? Fucking Hydra, what the hell is that? The drugs? Yeah, it is. Uh, restore limb condition. Okay. Weird. So it's a doc. Okay. So it's a doctor's bag. But what's the what's the difference? I guess I didn't see any downsides to it. Hydra is a drug, so you get addicted. Oh, it, is, it does count classify as drug. Honestly, I'm gonna go. I might actually fuck with the creation kit. I mean, I have Oblivion installed. I don't think it's never been really popular. I think I know. What is it? Yonner streamed Oblivion semi recently. I just don't think the interest is there for Oblivion. I'm debating on fucking around with the creation kit because I've never actually fucked around with it. I hear it actually makes modding pretty, pretty streamlined. Less potency than a knock bag too. Ah, gotcha. You fool. You fell right into my trap. Did I, I missed a 95. Rough. I actually feel ashamed. I think that's the max I've seen. I thought there used to be 100% shots. Back here! I'm not done with you! Might gonna have to actually chase you down. Okay. Yeah. She gonna stay still for a second now? The rest of you should try this intercom. Wait, where did he go? What's happening? Guys, where did this get where did the scorpion go? What the fuck just happened? I think I fucking hit him so hard he stopped existing. That's a new one. That that that's a fucking R slash never happened unless that was actually on Twitch. Holy shit. The actual Sky God said nah, not today. Those are nukes. Why are there nukes here? 
Why do you need nukes? Reduced and gone. Reduced to atoms. Hey, I needed that axe of yours, actually. Can you stop? Are you out of ammo yet? No. He works at the ammo factory. Fucking apparently. That was it. Now you're rid of my sunset sarsaparillas, anyways. Thought there was, thought there was a benefit you got by saving them. Uh, like I thought you turned them in for something. Uh, what? Sense as Asperillas. I know you get the caps and uh, do shit with that, but I thought you had to save them and turn them into a vendor. Sense as Asperillas are rare. Sense as Asperillas are fucking everywhere. They're way more common than the pole is in the base. Star bottle caps are rare. You need to collect 30 of them for the quest. Yeah. And attracting people, attract people means. Resource farming, security from attacks, and a place for us to make items. Not hard to find a piece of times. Need that shit for every non cam you make. I right, you need crops that can make vegetable starch. Right. No, it's a very compact area. Like, very compact and science area. How many bottomites are there? Don't you fucking Saturn fist me. I saw that. <laughs> Why does this weapon go so hard? What the fuck? Uh, what is the reinforce? Is it light or not? It is light, so I can actually repair it with these. Or at least I'm assuming I can. No, I cannot. Maybe? Valence. I don't know about that. Uh, why do you have missiles? Why are you like this? Okay, let's go here. Oh, wait a minute. That's Securitron. I don't like that. What terrors does big mountain hold for the intrepid seeker? <laughs> you fucked. Really? Does anyone am I over encumbered? I am. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely paying attention to uh, to damage types here. I can't can't anything useful. Not just scrap metal. Okay. From where? Oh, you need. Oh, you can fuck right off of that. Just remember, keep cool whip, not whip room. You mean cool whip? Cool whip. Yeah. It is a whipped cream substitute made out of vegetable oils. That sounds about right. Uh, liver 
Egyptian uses 20 gauge. Um, I guess we also have a new uh, Godzilla skin and call it a day. What's with these fucking lizards? It's the year of the lizard. I guess. <laughs> I, I think it is actually the year of the dragon. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this year's specific dragon is the year of the wood dragon. Interesting. Yes. Well, it cycles fire, earth, gold, water, and then wood. Right, because it's their uh, their elements. Yeah. I need to just stop that bullshit. Holy shit! My opening salvo is rough. It's just the opening salvo, though. That's the issue. That's all it is. Uh, melee focus build on Fallout 4. 4 has a lot more perks to name melee focus builds. Uh, maybe. Honestly. I know other Joe from Angry Joe does, what, Lord Two Shanks, where he just fucking roids out on drugs and just fucking uh, kills everyone with fucking two knives. It's, an grenade. it's it's that opening salvo though. If you can survive the opening salvo, it seems like they're fine. Oh, DNA splicing. That sounds nice, actually. You motherfucker! What? I didn't even see you. I didn't even see it. Oh, see if I let's see if I have anti venom. I don't know if I do. Nope. Here I was thinking that they wouldn't actually show up here. I do not have any actually. That was bullshit. I'm also running out of shotgun ammo to be fair too, so that's also kind of putting a damper on things. It shouldn't affect you. Wait a minute. It should though, right? Because Kazadors can still poison me. Unless there's a perk I'm missing. What's not throwing axe, actually? That could be kind of cute. What? Mm, troglodyte? Jesus Christ. I hear him. Yeah, yeah, I hear yeah. That was actually incredibly satisfying. Abomination created at Mount uh, Big MT has granted you damage against Kazadors. Oh my god, they, this, this fucking DLC is self-aware. People fucking bitching about Kazadors all game. Yes, I am people. This thing has multiple barrels. Reminds me of Cerberus plus one from the way it fires. Uh, 
Actually, I should be able to use leather armor, right? Doggun is good, boy. Doggun did his fucking job. Where? I hear them. Oh, they're gonna be in the cages, aren't they? You know, more and more, I think the think tank are pieces of shit. No, really? Yeah, I know, it's a weird concept, right? Antennae... Just, like, out of that cave. Yeah. I want you to know this minigun, honestly, feels really fucking good. Like, this actually goes hard. So many Pazador poison glands. I like how it's ejecting four times as many uh, spent cartridges as you're actually firing. Yeah. Well, no, it fires four shots. Oh, watch, watch in the vats next time you shoot. Watch how many fucking uh, shell, shells casings are flying yeah. out of the side of the gun as opposed to the bullets. Oh, the casings. Okay, that's different. There's way more casings flying out of that gun than you're shooting shots. That's actually not a bad value for that, holy shit. So, fucking, of course, shit that wasn't popular when it came out is soaring in popularity, so now it's pressed or skyrocketing. Yeah. Fucking, uh, the AR-180. What? Uh, it's a fucking... AR that came out in, like, 2001. Fucking stopped being produced in 2007 because sales were garbage. Right. But now people are finding it's like, man, these are actually really fucking good. Yeah, unfortunate. <laughs> fucking, these things are like 600 bucks new. Oh my god, yeah, there are more casings. What the fuck? Um, AR-180 was poopy? Wait, what? No, okay, hold up. 20% against Cazadors? Okay. Yeah, fucking... I guess uh, there's a recall on the milk right now. This doesn't surprise me. What's wrong with it? Bird flu. No, yeah, I know. The Tarantula Hawk was. Yeah, no, I'm aware. There is a uh, IRL component to uh, Cazador that they're based off of. There is a VTuber who's actually a ruby uh, ruby tailed cuckoo wasp. Love her design. Same kind of similar concept. I guess there's unwritten rules for playing a death knight now. There's what? <laughs> I guess there's unwritten rules to playing a Death Knight in World of Warcraft now. Uh, what are you doing? I guess what's what's the what's the play? I don't know. Fucking, I'm reading it. So if I leave it at 90, I can love. I can just. There's skill books, right? That I can just use to raise this to 100. Hypothetically. The energy weapons bobblehead will put it up at 100. Okay. So wait, but all bobbleheads are 10. Yeah. Wow, I have dead fucking skills then. I don't. I. Mm, I kind of want to do melee. Uh, easier, man. Detected steel knight or pick someone's pocket. I don't know. This fucking article just went on a tangent. You should probably do lockpick or uh, science so you can actually open some shit. Probably gonna do science, honestly. Science is actually coming in tech. Talking about how uh, death knight's gonna get rework in the war with them. Why? I don't fucking know, it's getting new hero talents. So. Fair enough. Yeah. Attacks do less damage to companions. Uh, 50% damage, 10% chance to critically hit with any laser weapon. Laser commander's actually kind of cool. Oops. Aren't any bobbleheads in New Vegas? What? Hold on. I don't know. I don't know if there's bobbleheads or not in this game. There are definitely bobbleheads in this game. Pretty sure there was. I'll straight fire accuracy hitting body parts of bats. Yeah, there's books, right? I'm gonna probably do the stim pack one, honestly. No, I like, guess there wasn't bobbleheads in New Vegas. Why do I remember there being bobbleheads? Probably a mod. I could have sworn there was bobbleheads because fucking lucky third. Yeah, there's fucking bobbleheads.
No, that would have had to been a bomb. Here. There's the snow globes, but no bobbleheads, and the snow globes don't do what the bobbleheads did. Fall at New Vegas Agility Bobblehead location. Agility Bobblehead is found near Chances of Grave, near a fiend camp. No, that's a snow globe. There's a snow globe in the graveyard. Oh, I just have bobbleheads. Uh, it's where the, uh, the Good Springs uh, snow globe is. It's up in the graveyard where the courier gets buried. Fall at New Vegas Guns Bobblehead location inside Vault 34 at the very last floor at the very bottom of the armory. The Guns Bobblehead's lying on a table next to a missile launcher and some armor. That's another scientist glove. Pretty sure that's Vault 3. Uh, I don't know if these are to say New Vegas. I'm gonna smile and nod. Perception bobblehead, bobblehead resides in a place called Sniper's Nest West of Cottonwood Cove. Bobblehead is sitting on a shelf next to a bed. Automatic Valence Tri Radii Oscillator. What the fuck is that? Cottonwood Cove is over by the Legion. Yeah. I am sad yeah. that I missed the secret red cloud ending, honestly. I saw oh, a video yeah. on it last night. I, I'm sad I missed it. Because you can side with Elijah. Just say fuck the world. Are you the guy on YouTube? I, I am an guy on YouTube, Pork Chop. If you're referring to Kip Reacts, yes, that would be me. He's some loser that's react content. Damn straight. That's a laser rifle, though. I will take that. Uh, what does laser rifle do? What does laser rifle repair, though, with this? Uh, AER-14 prototype. Trying to rip, keep everything repaired as much as I can. Andrew, well, I hope you're enjoying the content. It's I've been taking a little bit of a break. Just, uh... Metrics and stuff kind of got me down, so I'm taking a little bit of a break and doing. Ooh, Casador eggs! I'm gonna raise one. I'm gonna call Delicious. him. I'm gonna call him. Bingus. Bingus uh, and Bingus. Okay. <laughs> Dingus and Dingus Bingus go to White Castle. Fuck yes. Here's the thing: is there can't be Casador eggs if they're based off tarantula hawks. Uh, tarantula hawks lay their eggs inside living hosts. Yeah, no, no you're right. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're That's right. What makes them so fucked? Yeah. That's why if they put them in the TV show, it's going to be really fucked. You know what else wasn't in the first season of Baka that I realized? No super mutants. There was a super mutant. Except for the dead one on the table. I, I Technically, there were... Well, there was a picture of a super mutant. And there was the fucking Extra crit. one... Oh, interesting. Dude was leaving the Enclave facility. That was the one on the fucking, like, slab. There's the dead one on the slab, and there's a bounty poster for one in yeah. the government office. Yeah, fucking no super mutants. But there's Maybe there were no super mutants on the west because they all got eliminated like round fall one fall too. Yeah. Like you kind of find the remnants of them in New Vegas. They even kind of say they are. Yeah. Bro, what is your pathing? Where are you going? This is own man. Away from you. He is very confused. You need to just slow down, homie. Uh, I'm disappointed there wasn't more mutants. Were there ghouls? Stop there were ghouls and uh, gulpers. That was it. Oh, he had a grenade. Ooh. Well, I guess some rad roaches, but... I'm extra shocked we didn't get a rad scorpion. Yeah. Uh, I guess I in. almost forgot about the Yagoi. Yeah, we got mm. a Yagoi. Mm, and Yagoi. Death Claws kind of makes sense because the Death Claws were kind of eliminated from California during Fallout 2. Yeah. So much blood fly meat. Holy shit. Fucking. Okay, I don't know. Guess we'll find out in Season 2 if Ulysses is right. If the fucking uh, Borrowers just wiped everything out. Yeah, the two things that weren't in the show that shocked me was there were no Myrlurks and there were no Rad Scorpions. I forgot Myrlurks existed until you just said that, actually. For the best. Nah, they're super chill. Uh, fucking, uh... I don't know. Uh... We are we'll in the season season two the of the Zerkity and Securitrons from the deconstruction plan. Let's get a season two. 
They already uh, green lighted season two. Yeah, like, I'm pretty yeah, sure. That, pretty sure that season two is already a thing. Yeah, they already green lighted it. So I'll watch it in a year or two when it comes out. Assuming the world's not on fire. That's Fallout, baby. Yeah, it's a fucking tower. Who knows? Fucking Amazon might just say fucking season two of Fallout. We're just making this shit real. <laughs> that'd be kind of that'd be so meta. Take the pulse. No, pulse grenades are fucking great. Yeah. That is one thing I'm glad to see for the most part is the fucking walking dead. Why does three? I'm so glad that I looted all of this 357 from the end of a uh, end of Dead Money. A thousand 357 rounds in this just goes so fucking hard. Dog gun is actually fucking nutty. Yeah. Makes a little dark. It makes little dog noises too. Oh yeah, what are those enemies, Reba? Those rattlesnakes. Yeah, those are rattlesnake dogs. I see you don't have fucking animal friend. Nope. It took way too much health for me. I could have played that a little differently. Well, yeah, the knights are so fast as shit. Yeah, they are. Like, holy fuck. I'm gonna have to find the way to farm uh, the Sierra Madre coins. I hear there's a farm you can do outside of uh, outside the Madre in the bunker. Yeah, fucking take a nap and fucking wait a couple weeks at a time. Just fucking grab them. When the uh, safety stop. Oh. Rattlesnake coyotes, yeah. Fuck that. Not the military cyber dog. I don't even think that could fucking work, honestly. What? I think they're just too genetically different. Like, what's the catalyst for that to even fucking happen? What, rattlesnake coyotes? Yeah. I don't think it could... I, I don't... I mean, obviously, we're in fucking... You know, shitpost territory at this point. But I, I don't think that's how I mean, that... You're in a science facility where ethics be damned. Do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, so. that was also fair. Yeah, and that fucking Big MT's fucking motto is what ethics. Yeah, you're not wrong. The hollow rifle does have a uh, little bit of an issue because nothing really repairs it, unfortunately. Uh. Science does, in fact, find a way. Oh, uh, yes. The platypus was the thing that should not exist. Can think what thing is also actually poisonous. Well, is it poisonous or venomous? Uh, I don't remember. It's what? What is the one that it fucking eats you? That's venomous, right? Venomous. It is venomous. Yeah, it's got a barb on his foot. That's venomous, but that's about it. It's like it's not. It bites not anything. But it's just fucking duck. Yeah, uh, it's, it's fucking it's, duck. <laughs> it's just yeah. the weird ass fucking duck. Uh, fucking, uh... Uh, fucking old kill was a lot of fucking kill. That means the actual death of them. Lot of fire venomous. Okay, thank you for that. Not the robe we're in! Well, this is about where the fucking uh, exosuits were. That's gonna be the fun. The horrifying thing about the big empty is still not morally as morally bankrupt as Vault Tech. Eh. Yeah. Glow literally. Well, just why does this thing exist? I don't know. The most humane thing. That uh, the vault has ever made was a uh, checkout drug. Yeah. Yeah. It was Na banana flavor. Nice sensor. Yeah. Yeah. Plan D. Fucking banana flavored cyanide tablet. 
I wonder if it tastes like the you know the fruit fucking uh, candies like all the all the fruit flavors like the green like the green ones. And I wonder if they taste like those. Like the runts bananas. Yeah. Fucking taste. Yeah. It'd be kind of cool. Fucking runts are bomb, man. Have that shit in a hot minute. Aren't like, runts bananas like, also the closest thing to the real taste of bananas since yeah, real bananas yeah. would extinct? Yeah. I, the taste yeah. Them. Didn't we like eat all the bananas? Like ate them to no, extinction. We, we genetically modified the taste out of uh, what bananas originally tasted like. Yes, we genetically modified bananas so hard that the original banana no longer fucking forms in nature. Nice. These bananas originally had seeds in them. Yeah. Can't remember if it was runts or some other candy, but like I know there's like something out there that runts. is the only thing left that tastes like original banana. Yep, it was runts. Uh, and remember, life didn't give us lemons. We made lemons. Yeah, that one's a weird one. Yeah. Yep, fucking lemons are a cross between a citron and a bitter orange. Yeah, that sounds about right. Might I be of service? Or just has 14,000 caps. I love it. Okay. Okay, I didn't know that was a just transport back over. That's kind of cool to know. Uh, mutant cave fungus is actually worth a fuck ton. You know what? I don't think about it. I'm gonna see how much that fucking five pound bag of fucking runts bananas cost. Do it. Pretty sure Kaz That just sounds like a. That just. I was about to say, that literally just sounds like a midnight uh, Winco run. Go get yeah. a bulk bag of yeah, runs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get a bulk, bulk bag of that shit. It's so good. Uh. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, two and a half pounds is eighteen dollars. That's really not bad. I still think it's a little excessive. Probably for, paying for no, some of that. Two pounds for ten dollars. Yeah, that sounds that sounds more correct. Or five pounds for twenty six dollars. Not bad, actually. You're kind of saving a little bit there. Yeah. And don't forget, Kip, they're not actually called Runts Bananas, they're Banana Rama Bananas. I hate it. Why are you like this? Yep. Banana Rama Banana Candy. Pack of cigarettes. Why do I have so many medical braces on me? What the fuck? Why didn't I pick that shit up? Oh. Cazador Poison Glands, 46 pair. That's not awful, actually. Let's take 3,000 caps. Do you have any fucking ammo for me? 323, 22, 357. 45 auto. Mike's care for another tea to bomb the witness. Okay. Assuming that didn't reset everything. Uh, close to how they once were. That is for people who have way more science expertise than I do. I mean, it depends if we can even get a specimen of said banana to even... Nope. Bunk, uh, to even... Like, yeah. Uh, the original specimen into extinction. There might be like a single seed in the fucking uh, seed vault. But... Good luck getting that. Well, that place is so fucking highly off limits unless you're like authorized by like, six world governments at the same time, you're not allowed to go there. Remember when that flooded a few years ago? You could pump it in and ruined a lot of specimens. Yeah. I love how many. Uh, were there conspiracy? I think there were conspiracy theories that came out because of that, actually, too. Yeah. Jurassic Park fruit. I mean, Jurassic Park does border into fiction. I mean, hypoth if we're going with hypotheticals, probably. Buff out. A one pound bag of Lucky Charm marshmallows is only twelve dollars. Lucky, I I don't know. Like Lucky Charm marshmallows, they have a distinct fucking like texture to them and taste. I don't know if I need a whole pound like bag of them. Well, you don't just want to like 
don't have a fucking pound of lucky charm mark calls in your hot chocolate. Not really. Yeah. I don't know, there's a lot of shit on here. Like, yeah, I'd love to have this as like if I was still back in high school or middle school. Right. But Some frat boy shit. It's like, oh, I could. Stop it. Dumping yeah, it is. If you have a dehydrated the same. <laughs> Something about punching these dudes is fucking very satisfying. I could see that with a dehydrator. I feel like having a dehydrator would be super tech, actually. I mean, I I'm not using my favorite weapon from the older oh, games. Heaven. What one? It's like the Deathclaw Gauntlet. While I was doing fucking melee and unarmed. I don't know. I don't even know if it's in this game. Well, I don't. I have uh, the Algoy thing. Deathclaw Gauntlet's in there. The Yagoi thing? Wait, Yagoi thing? The, like, Pashi or whatever from Road. Yeah, the Yagoi gauntlet. Which is a bear paw. <laughs> a little bit the death paw. That was some uh, Naruto pray to path bullshit. Just fucking so... punch the force carries over. The death paw gauntlet is in the game, it's exclusive to Lonesome Road. So that's it, that's the final DLC we're gonna go on. I don't have enough to, enough expertise to do that yet. I don't have levels to do that yet, actually. I kind of wish they did what Fallout 3 did, where they had schematics scattered around the wasteland you had to find that you can craft it. Yeah. I forgot like that. The, the rail, the, the dark gun, the death claw gauntlet, the railroad rifle, the shish kebab. Yeah, I love the shish kebab. It's so good. That's a, I hardly remember what it did, but I remember I did use it. I think if you, you were you already went you already gave up the chance to buy it. You can still buy it. Is that Gunrunners? Gunrunners, Gunrunners has the legendary has the unique one, Gahana. It has oh. a blue flame. Who's approaching uh, thirty? Uh yes I am approaching thirty actually. I gotta figure out how I wanna finalize this build. I figure I go in with a complete leveled build by the end of uh by the time we get to the Hoover Dam. Gotta go talk to Arcade again and go get your uh, XO1 power armor. Scare Rusty on, play with that when we were down. Oh, yeah! It's these things! Huh? What a cool concept. It is, in fact, just a super suit with a corpse in it. Yeah. It's so cool. Also bleak as fuck. Yeah, no, it's great. Then again, prosthetics in this fucking universe are nightmares. So. I see. Your foot with you blown off. Stick your stump in this pencil sharpener real quick, and we'll screw the foot on. Okay. Well, in, in uh, Dead Money, we got to see the. Uh, that's not gonna work. In Dead Money, we got to see the. Um, what is it? The fucking stupid chamber thingies. Auto dark. Yeah. Oh, the docks are in the basement. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good, yeah. Mysterious stranger coming in fucking clutch. <laughs> Unless he bricked my game. Bro. <laughs> He's bricked your game. Bro. Don't you look at me like that, you son of. He's okay. bricked your game. Dude, did you see that fucking <laughs> side eye, though? What the fuck? Yeah. Like, what's this, this moron doing? This game is self-aware. What the fuck? Can I curse coffee and fucking fall at New Vegas? Hot damn. I don't even know what to do with that. Like, that was... That was interesting. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. More trauma suits. I don't know where this shit's coming from anymore. I'm gonna go in here where I need to. Hold it right there. My god, not you not Protectron Mark III. 
I had the power of fist. So I must morally bankrupt organization of Fallout. I don't know. I always like the Enclave uh, 3. I just like the Enclave. They have the right idea to just fucking start promoting the when they start coming out the vaults. I think it comes from vault drillers. Did he re- did he, he really followed me in here, you piece of shit. I saw that. Fucking lobotomites. Chunky. No crit. <laughs> Misfortune pops in. That is the most I've seen of, of those two in the entirety of this game, honestly, right now. The fucking... Oh, the cask has been opened. The fucking bottles are being sold. Wait, what? Uh, fucking, uh, 1969 McCallum, 52-year-old. Fucking, uh, scotch. The cask was cracked, so they're selling the bottles. Uh-huh. Do you want to take a guess what the selling price is? 16,000? God, you fish. I don't know. I, mean, I was a guess in the fucking dark. I don't know really the context. price is $90,000 a bottle. I, I feel at that point you don't even drink that shit. No. Like, you collect that. I hate people who collect whiskey. But, yeah. Did you see the Captain Morgan thing I sent you? It's how they butchered my boy and it's no longer him. Fucking generates like those belong on a fucking cross. <laughs> yeah, ninety thousand dollars. Fucking McCallum fifty two. The rarest of the rare. I'm gonna smile and nod. Having no fucking idea. Uh, McCallum is a very, very good whiskey company. Uh tasting notes. Rich dark chocolate with notes of overripe orange peel shining through. Hints of cinnamon and sugar bound with caramel biscuits. You know, seems cool. Uh, also, not sending ninety thousand dollars on that. <laughs> also, known as pulling random flavors out of your ass because nobody can actually tell the notes in whiskey. And if you can, you have a problem. <laughs> Especially not in fucking single malt scotch. But it is fucking. Uh, it was ancient sherry casks. Fucking only ten bottles available in the United States. Wow, those are those are gonna go really fucking quick at that auction or wherever they're selling it. Uh, this is starting price is ninety thousand dollars. Starting, yeah, so it's probably at auction. It hasn't even started the auction yet. Uh, well, it's going to be auction, at auction. Or lottery here in Oregon. They do uh, they do yeah. a lottery for alcohol. That's kind of neat. Like most expensive bottles and stuff, when they hit the market, they're uh, they're done for the state, and the state does a lottery. Yep. Probably actually generates revenue for the state. Hmm. It does. The other side of that, which it, they they monitor the uh, price of uh, liquor here in Oregon, so uh, you're not companies are not allowed to add a premium on top of liquor. Mm -hmm. So, case my my brother collects whiskey. Mm -hmm. And he goes around. He'll buy. Uh, he'll go and he'll he'll buy a sixty dollar uh, sixty dollar bottle of whiskey here in Oregon. And if you're to take that bottle across uh, state lines like California, it's a three hundred dollar bottle because the liquor stores just inflate the price when they get them. Right. They legally can't do that in Oregon because liquor is controlled by uh, the lottery. Interesting. I mean, hey, if it's a cool system, if people don't have issues with that, I mean, fucking go for it. So, I am kind of amused with this fucking website. Uh oh. So, Johnny Walker in a bar is an expensive fucking drink. Okay, I'm just gonna once can smile and nod, assuming that makes sense. Uh, fucking some liquor stores around here sell the bottles for like $100 a bottle uh -huh. for Johnny Walker Black. Okay. Yeah, $45 a bottle on this website. <laughs> wow. That's, that's, that's we Booker. And like all that, the whiskeys here, they're forty dollars in Oregon, but if you go to California, they're two hundred dollars a bottle. Yeah. Fucking wild. No, whiskey's a whiskey's a weird one. Yeah, like well, my brother, he'll drive around the coast because a lot of the liquor stores in the coast will get them in. 
and people don't know the check there, and he'll go uh, store to store and get them. Like, he doesn't resell them, he buys them for his own collection. But he fucking tracks that shit so he can get them before other people do. Yeah. That's like a motherfucking call list for my local liquor store because they're uh, supposed to be getting a new shipment of Japanese whiskey in. It's more hibiki in. Got any fireball? I, 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 people love fucking fireball. I've, n ooh, that's a tiny rose scorpion. Just remember, I'm not a fan of fireball, fireball, but I like some screwball. Oh, God. Peanut butter whiskey. Hmm? Fucking peanut butter whiskey. I fucking love peanut butter screwball so much. Oh. I've never had it. <laughs> like, I it is, it is so good. I love peanut butter screwball. Go, so, it was ruined for me because the uh, fucking co worker that my dad used to work with fucking came over and was like, hey, we're doing a uh, peanut butter jelly shots. Oh no. This is gonna go it's places. Fucking, it's half a shot of screwball peanut butter whiskey and half a shot of Shambord. And it tastes like the peanut butter whiskey. They are a super sweet. Yeah, that's why, that's why I like it so much. Is it, You said you haven't had it before. You should try it. It's like $25, $30 a bottle. I know. But it is so fucking sweet, and you can taste the peanut butter. Yeah. Uh, you taste more peanut butter than you do whiskey. It's like just eating a spoonful of, like, Jif peanut you, butter. You get really drunk off it really easy because you don't realize you're drinking. It makes real good milkshakes. Uh, fucking remind me of this. I'll fucking do it. That, that'll be what I do for fucking raid night. Just now we're taking fucking shots every fucking wipe. Well, me for me like quarter shots because that's gonna I'm gonna add up really fucking quick. I am going when we do raid night. I'm gonna give you a recipe for a cocktail you're gonna make, and it's gonna be what you're sipping on for raids. Uh, yeah, I, that that's one of those that I have a low tolerance as is. So like, the I'll, I'll ass. give you a cocktail to sip on. Yeah, like I I will. I'm not gonna be taking actual fucking shots. Honestly, you might enjoy Godfather. They're really simple to make and they're really I good. I've heard about them. I don't know what they are. It is. Two ounces of your whiskey or scotch of choice. I typically do uh, Jameson because it's cheap and it's one of my go-tos. Your Jameson's good, and yeah. A shot of um, amaretto. So, uh, cherry, and... right? Huh? Is amaretto's no, cherry? It's, or? Uh, no, it's almonds. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, no, it's a good sipping drink. I keep fucking forgetting that, like, I literally have you as a fucking former bartender in the fucking server. That I can just ask, hey, I fucking don't like the taste of alcohol. What sweet thing can fucking, you know, not not yeah, entirely fuck me up right off the bat? The top of my head. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So <laughs> fuck you up immediately, got a bunch of them. Fucking uh, screwdriver with a shot of grenadine is good. That's just a fucking uh, oh, I love, sunrise. I do love grenadine. Grenadine um, goes way fucking, fucking hard. Sub the vodka with tequila, you have a tequila sunrise, it's just tequila, orange juice, and fucking grenadine. Or maraschino cherry juice, if you can have actual maraschino cherries. Maraschino uh, I, gotta, I gotta stock up on those, actually. Fucking... Mai Tais, I hear, are good. I don't know enough about them, though. Mai Tais are good, they can be complicated to drink, or make. Uh, fucking... No, sweet, don't taste the alcohol, fucking... Bailey's. Yeah, just... I think I've had Bailey's. It was weird. It, it's just fucking uh, Irish cream. Yeah, that might be it. Uh, rum. What's I do rum? love me some rum. Parrot Bay for a period of time. Oh my god. That was well, fucking actually, spice. You, will, you really taste the alcohol on those. Uh... Oh, darn. I was going to tell you a fucking brand of whiskey to buy, but I forgot it's a local brand. You can't get it elsewhere. You can't actually get it. Fucking super exclusive. Hell yeah. Well, it's a fucking local whiskey. It's a South Carolina whiskey. It's called a 6 and 20 Carolina Cream. You know what I can buy, though? I can go buy some uh, MD 2020. I got this, like, local Marionberry whiskey that's really good here in Oregon. Marionberry would go really fucking hard, though. Alright, get this whiskey. Would be right up your alley. Uh huh. It's just adult chocolate milk. Oh fuck yeah, I'm in. It's. I don't know about mixing milk with alcohol. Uh, I feel like it's gonna be really heavy. It is very heavy. Yeah, like that's gonna be real also, heavy. Yeah. Um. 
I'm fucking. Fuck. Mm. Taste a cocktail. You won't taste all this. Food. Vodka is your drink of choice because it mixes so damn well with so much. I think I've tried a couple of vodkas. I don't remember what I thought about them, honestly. I can't get my vodka of choice anymore, so I'm upset by that. Never had a White Russian. I don't think I did. I know Rev did recommend that. White Russians are basic. Well, remember, I like fucking like Moscow mules, or I guess technically mules because it's not served in the copper cup when I had them. Uh, fucking White Russians basic. It's just a vodka, coffee liqueur, and cream. I don't know. I don't like coffee though. Yeah. I think uh, I've had one coffee that I didn't actually. I almost said coffee. I've had one coffee that I didn't actually hate, and so it's a feat for me to like coffee. Oh. Uh, the coffee VTuber, so good. Where the hell? I know a lot of milkshakes because that was one thing I do make a lot of is just spiked milkshakes. Uh. I feel like doing. Uh, like, like maraschino cherries and bullshit in a milkshake would go really fucking hard. Yeah. Uh, some moonshine. Oh, dude, it's the kind of moonshine that's gonna fuck me up. <laughs> I've got some of that in my fucking closet downstairs. <laughs> the fucking type that makes you go blind. <laughs> no, because I'm not fucking dumbass and I filter off my ethanol. <laughs> uh, no, I fucking went to Buddy's place. Weekend before last, to get this fucking uh -huh. tattoo. Uh huh. Looking in their freezer because, like, they don't clean their freezer out. I probably still have liquor in here. I still had a fucking jar of moonshine in the freezer. Oh no. I, I found out why no one was drinking it because I fucking wiped the ice off the top of it and saw what the proofing was. Oh no. I, uh, I accidentally grabbed one of my super high proofs. Rough. Yeah, no, I'm saying there's like, man, why is it still in the freezer? I'm sitting there looking at it, it's like, Okay, so it was pear moonshine. Fucking looking at the proof, it's like, oh, that was 128 proof. <laughs> fucking 190 uh, proof ever clear. God damn. Fucking <laughs> ever is actually not allowed to be sold in some states in the United States. Isn't it because uh, actually you're in, you're gonna know more why. Uh, that that I high proof. A lot of uh, states don't allow high proof uh, liquors. So, like uh, 151, for example, can't be sold in a lot of states. Uh huh. Because it's a uh, health and vi uh, fire hazard. Uh yeah, I believe it. Makes sense. Uh, well, the issue why a lot of states ban high proof is because people just take shots of high proof. It's not. And. That sequence of like, oh, I'm just gonna take a swallow of this fucking rubbing alcohol under my sink. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, does that dog have a fucking, uh, thum? What the fuck? Yeah. Dog, dog just has a fucking dragonborn attack. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think of a cocktail you'd be able to enjoy. It's not gonna, like, break the fucking bank buying ingredients. Now, what is it? Fucking Long Island Ice Teas are one of the fucking ones that people do a whole hell of a lot of. Yeah, so it also costs like $80 to get all the fucking ingredients, too. So. Do they? I didn't know they cost that much. Well, it's. Think of a liquor, it's probably in a Long Island. Oh, that's like everything then. Okay. Yeah, fucking hold on. What over goes to Long Island? Because I know a Long Island, a Tokyo Tea, and a Audios. Is all the same drink, just with a different uh, splash at the end. Upgrade uh, to an AMF. Island. What is an AMF actually? That's an audio motherfucker, right? Audio. Yeah. So those were really popular. A, a Tokyo Tea and an AMF are all the same drink. Okay. They just have a different splash at the end. Uh -huh. A Long Island Ice Tea has a splash of Coke. Okay. A AMF has a splash of Blue Curacao. And a Tokyo tea has a splash of Midori. Which is melon liqueur. I actually might like Midori. Uh, yeah. A Long Island iced tea is half an ounce of vodka, half an ounce of rum, half an ounce of gin, half an ounce of tequila, half an ounce of triple sec, one ounce of sweet and sour mix, one ounce of cola, and a lemon slice. That is a fuck ton of ingredients. To buy a cheap bottle of each of those, so... I'm gonna say a cheap drinkable bottle, so say twenty dollars a bottle. Right. You're sitting at 
about eighty to one hundred dollars of fucking ingredients. I mean, do you even get that many out of it? Like, so that, like if you invest hard, right? Like if you're like, oh well, I'm only gonna have a shot, and this is gonna last me six months, right? Do you actually come out ahead, or is it one of those that like? The volume you're consuming, it is still an expensive drink, despite the initial upkeep or initial investment, I guess I should say. Well, it's a cheap drink because it only uses half an ounce. Oh, uh, okay. See, so, so you you front that cost. Yeah, you front the cost, and you have Long Island iced tea for however long it takes to drink. Fucking twenty to thirty Long Island iced tea. Yeah, it depend. I mean, depending on how long you drink as well, it's just like yeah, you could you could have it for a while, you could have it for a, a no, single we, evening. <laughs> That's a lot. No, but there well, are people that would do it. Because fucking uh, gin is very overpowering if you don't uh, have a good gin. Which is a little mistake a lot of people make. If you're buying gin, don't go to fucking like Costco and get Costco gin. Just spend the extra $5 to get a bottle of burn. I don't even know fucking Costco sold that shit. I, I, I was literally going to go to Costco today and then traffic was so fucky. I was going to get a new Xbox. A lot of Costco's and Sam's Clubs have liquor stores on them now. I didn't even know this. Yeah. It's a good way to get cheap alcohol, but it's not good alcohol, but it's cheap. Awful. Yeah. I mean, fucking twenty dollars for a gallon of vodka is fine. Yeah, it's acceptable. Oh no! What? What? No! What have I done? I hate it. Awake. I hate right, this. For the first time ever. What is this strange new world around me? What does it hold in store? We can kill the robot, right? Ah, uh, here I was thinking there'd be an actual device to fucking shock it to death. Yeah, like that. <laughs> I saw that from a mile away, but that was still pretty funny. What the fuck? Old world blues, please. Mai Tai recipe, one part spiced rum, three parts each of orange and pineapple juice mixed with a lot of grenadine. Or a little bit of grenadine, excuse me. Uh, Seagram's escapes, they're a dollar a bottle. You get drunk with five dollars. I've heard of Seagram's. I don't know enough about them. They are very sweet. You'll feel like crap the next day because they are made with malt liquor. Ah, so it's like fucking Jaeger. It fucking sneaks up on you. <laughs> it doesn't even sneak up on you. It's just rough. <laughs> it just smacks you in the uh, fucking face. <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm here. Really you're gonna feel like crap the next day. Um, Fair enough. I'm trying to think, fucking. I mean, there's Tom Collins. That's easy and sweet. You might enjoy Tom Collins. It's a, uh, for all intents and purposes, it's a spiked sparkling lemonade. Is you sparkling water? Yeah, sweet yeah. soda water. Not my, not my jam. I don't know. It depends. Like I'm so hit or miss on soda water. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not. Yep. It's two ounces of dry gin, one ounce of lemon juice, an ounce of simple syrup, and three ounces of plain or lemon seltzer water. Interesting. And then two cocktail cherries for garnish. Yeah. That, there's a lot of presentation that goes in with uh, in bartending yes. and shit. Like I just like. Sure I guess I'd be bar backing. I said I played fucking baby bartender. Couldn't actually do a bunch of the mixed drinks and shit because I wasn't... Like, I was licensed for alcohol and shit, but they wanted their actual bartenders to deal with it. A tiramisu white Russian. What? Yeah. Oh, I can't read the fucking thing because it's for members only. Uh, I mean, fair enough. Uh, yeah, it is. Paloma, those are good. But we're just Nutty alcohol. It, we've gone from cheese to alcohol hour now. Great. Lemon poppy seed drops. Actually, you might actually enjoy cheese. Drop. I don't know why I didn't think about it, but you might actually enjoy a lemon drop. Those are good. They're sweet. I've I've seen a lot of those made. I was I was going to mention earlier. Like yeah, I could probably enjoy a lemon drop. A lot yeah. of people seem to really like those. They're good. Uh. It's also one of those where you're gonna feel like garbage because you're gonna be doing a lot of them very quickly. Well, I just mitigate that then. Just, I'll do a fuck ton of them. Oh, here you go, Kip. Perfect for you. Hot butter drum. 
Uh, hot butter. Uh, I can see that working. Yeah. It is for the butter drum better. It is four tablespoons of butter softened, two tablespoons of packed brown sugar, half a cup of vanilla ice cream softened, and half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon for the I feel like softened. the ice cream would go really hard in that. Yep. It's also the rum and apple cider, so. Yeah. He, oh, thanks for reminding me. I need to get fucking ginger beer. I don't know. I think I don't think Fuenco even sells it. Ginger beer, the fucking one with the seal on it. I can't remember the brand. Is super good. I love it. Yeah, but it's not as good as birch beer. I don't think I've had that. This is mostly like the East Coast thing. It's really hard to find West Coast. You said birch beer. Yeah. Oh, that shit's the bomb. I don't know why uh, it's so hard to find on the West Coast, but it is. Kip, I'm going to recommend a ginger beer for you. Yeah. And you'll never go back to another one. Okay. Bundaberg. Uh, send me an image of it. It is Australian ginger beer. Okay. It is, in, you'll recognize the bottle if you ever see them in public. It is some of the best fucking ginger beer you'll ever drink. <laughs> fucking dig it. Nice. Oh. Uh, what you're thinking of with the seal is Gosling, by the way. Gosling, yeah, thank you. No, Gosling, it, it, I, I got, uh, sometimes we got some of the extras and shit after, because, like, you know, cans that don't actually get used. Yes. It was good. I no. thought it was great. Bundaberg is very good ginger beer. It's very strong in the ginger taste, which I love. I can't find cocktails, but a lot of these involve coffee, and you said you don't do coffee. I'm, just, I'm just not a huge coffee fan. I don't know, the hot butter drum will probably be like go to bread and butter kind of drink, because that's just raw apple cider and fucking ice cream for the most part. Honestly, yeah, that really sounds like that goes really fucking hard. How big is this compound? The answer is probably. Oh, why? It is a high school. And then my favorite, we don't do that here, drink a fucking mint mojito. Because fuck your mojito, we don't do that here. Uh, I think we did do mojitos, but the mint was kind of a pain in the ass. We had to make sure we had to order it for the actual bar. Yeah, fucking... No, whenever anybody wants a mojito, we don't do that here. Because I'm not sitting there fucking muddling mint. I think we just, I think we just put the sprig on it where we did. Like, it was like the presentation. Yeah, probably muddled with that, so yeah, there's that. We're all through the drink. We don't do that. I'm just not actually doing that. Two things we didn't do. We didn't do mojitos, we didn't fuck that, and uh, no, we don't have a blender. We don't have a blender. You know what? We don't have a blender. There will be no blender. Oh, that was the first thing I did when I started my shift. Every fucking night, I was like, nope, disconnect the fucking blender, we're putting it underneath the bar, we're not doing this shit tonight. Let me fair. Fucking boss just come back an hour later. Hey, where's the blenders under the bar? Why is it under the bar? It's not for me. It's not for me. <laughs> we don't have it. It's so good. What a neat way of dealing with the problem. It's not for me. What do you mean it's not for me? Oh, I broke the fucking blade there again. How'd you break the blade? I dropped the knife back. Yeah. <laughs> I love this background where it's just his fucking high school career. It's so funny. Okay. Oh, it's coming out of your paycheck. Oh no, the fucking five dollar blade attack is coming out of my paycheck. I just made seven hundred dollars tonight. Uh, someone said on Twitter that int be vulture look fuel maximus needs to be a helpless situation with no possibility to survive. Mysterious stranger says it kills all the bad guys and leave without really help. This happen. I, I mean, they could actually put the mysterious stranger in pretty easily if they wanted to. Yeah, no, we're, we're in, uh, we're in the fucking big empty. There we go. Feels like when you're in VATS, you can sometimes squeeze off an extra hit by just pulling the fucking trigger. Moonshine pickles over here. I feel like moonshine pickles could be interesting. 
No, they're not. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> uh huh. Ugh. F minus minus in science. Poor Richie. Rip. Richie the ball lover. Ugh. Fuck him. Ugh. Drop pickles. Not uh, being in bats, uh, attack gives you bonus defense. Yeah, it gives you like 50% or something like that. Oh, good enough that pre war money doesn't have a fucking weight on it. Uh, I mean, to be fair, my experience with alcohol has been nah, this parrot bay shit kind of goes hard. It is an. Yeah, fucking Bro, that shit fucked me up good. That was amazing. <laughs> Someone in fucking a Ren Fair just like, hey, you want our good friends? It was NCA, uh, SCA, right? You want a Ren Fair? Hey, you want this shit? Sure, I guess. Fucking some of the best alcohol you'll ever fucking have. Yeah. Until your friends decide to put fucking special mushrooms in the mead, and then you go on a fucking adventure for a few hours. <laughs> and then you're just fucking Jack Black and fucking pick a destiny for for a little bit. Yeah. It's we, fine. We were so far away from the fucking fair sleep. Ah, uh, that's dangerous though. Like that can be that can be tastefully done, but you gotta make sure you're in a controlled environment. Like have your trip sitter, right? That kind of thing. You sure you're not Jack Black and Tropic Thunder running around in your underwear? Uh I've never actually seen Tropic Thunder. I need to. Here it's great. You've just What well, I fucking don't see movies. And now Rev's gonna be like, motherfucker, you literally have seen Rashomon. Yeah, as I told you earlier, it's Baku Test. Fucking so Gerard Sensei was fucking no, legit. Actually, you know what? I know you've seen Tropic Thunder because we've watched it in the server. Oh, oh that movie's just so quotable. Yeah, I know the, I know some of the quotes. He's a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. It's where they never go full on looking for that statement because your streaming comes from. That exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is where that comes from. Fuck. <laughs> Bop. It's also that one movie yeah, I mean, where a white guy got away with uh, doing blackface because he did to make fun of actors doing blackface. Oh my god. What is the fucking... What's the movie? I need to go see... It's the... Uh, is it Airplane or something like that? I don't speak jive. Really fucking Airplane. insensitive movie. I need to go see that. Oh my god. I, I need to experience this. Best part about that movie is they cast the fucking, uh, I can't remember his fucking name off the top of my head. They cast him because they wanted an actor that only does serious roles, so yeah. he just deadpan all the fucking deliveries so it doesn't seem like it's supposed to be a comedy. Okay, that's actually perfect though. Like, that that's super, super good. Because a comedy actor's gonna ham it up, but if you give it to a fucking actor that's known for dramas, they're just gonna deadpan that delivery. Right. Yeah, and then he goes on to make a bunch of lethal gun movies. Yeah, I thought it was a naked gun. Or a naked gun, not leaf gun. Apparently they're remaking those right now. And the thing, the fucking TV show got cancelled after two episodes because they thought, oh, fucking... People aren't... What if people miss an episode? They're not going to understand the joke. It's like, it's an episode-to-episode -episode police procedural show. It doesn't what matter you, if they miss an episode. What do you want from me? Uh, so I, I thought the, the think tank was super funny, but hearing some of the background lore from the Sierra Madre about the Red Cloud and stuff that they literally fucking caused very much against the, uh, against the think tank. You see if I can't unplug them like I did house. That'd be pretty funny. Nice. We're supposed to be a unit. Suck my unit. What the fuck? Is that a line? Oh, that yeah. reminds me. Have you done the high school yet? I'm in it. Okay, I was about to say, I'm like, I just remember the high school of said, that's actually one of the funnier ones. Yeah, fucking, uh... It's also where we get, uh, I'm a lead farmer motherfucker, is from, uh, Tropic Thunder. What was the quote? I'm a lead farmer motherfucker. Oh, because bullets. Yeah. Well, he's fucking in disguise, like, oh, I caught this guy on my poppy field. Then he fucked up, it's like, 
I'm gonna return to my rice patty. <laughs> Fucking gets called out. It's like, what are you? What kind of farm are you? I'm a lead farmer, motherfucker. When pulling out the two sixteen in this fucking room. <laughs> oh god, I need to go back and rewatch this movie. This shit's fucking great. Drop it Thunder's great. I fucking love Drop it Thunder. It's one of the few movies I actually paid for. Like, oh. Like DVD was obviously right, not streaming service. I uh, I have both DVD and digital. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't have a display on my computer, so I bought a physical, so I can play it on my fucking laptop, or I can just watch it digitally. I feel like that's that's the the key, like the thing. Like if you like something enough, that's when you're willing to buy the uh, yeah. the super big fuck off. Like you, I would just buy a DVD in general. You know, my parents and I like my parents really. I mean, they hoard DVDs and stuff. <laughs> but like, <laughs> ow. Yep, I own that, have three decent fucking Final Fantasy movies. You just knock me the fuck over, dog? Okay. I don't know, I do enjoy uh, interaction in uh, Dragon's Dogma, though. If you don't have a uh, offensive pawn with you. Yeah. You get sacked by wolves, your pawn will just sit there healing you while the wolves slowly murder you. So if your pawn's only set up for healing, fucking if you get sacked by a wolf, it'll just sit there just keep like chewing on you while your pawn just sits there healing you the entire time. <laughs> That's fucking great. I don't remember, did this exploit work in Skyrim where if you exit, it uh, reset the bobby pin's durability? I think it did work in vanilla Skyrim. No. Oh, did they fix that by Skyrim? They yep. had a hidden uh, durability. Oh, okay. Uh, well, so this is only like a Fallout 3 New Vegas thing that it can work. Maybe Oblivion? I don't remember. I don't remember how Oblivion honestly works. It didn't work on Oblivion. Oblivion. Oblivion had durability even when he exited. Oh, okay. So this is just a New Vegas specific exploit then? Uh, finally caught your big streams of the way to see past VODs. Uh, they will be uploaded to the Kizunikip channel. Uh, keep an eye out for community posts and stuff, as I've been trying to link that super hard to anybody. It is quite literally impossible, and I've gone over this before, it's impossible for everyone to be on the same page. So I'm trying to signal boost it as, uh, as much as I can, and I'm going to most likely be taking feedback in regards to uh, next playthroughs on games and stuff. Like I'll put polls up. So The short answer is yes, there will be ways to view this. Ball storage. What? Richie Marcus likes balls. Can't believe Richie likes balls. SMH. Well, I would like to actually start, like, I'd actually like the React channel to take off in some capacity. Not React, uh, excuse me. The VOD channel to take off in some capacity, because that means I can stream. But I can also, you know, uh, meet my bottom line by just doing stuff like this. That way people get to actually see me do cool shit. It's just, you know, getting to that point. Also, VODs being, you know, just a form of me. I don't know. I say VODs are one of those media that people don't like. But I remember Josh Drive Hayes literally puts out, like, his Morrowind VOD of, like, five hours and gets, like, 80,000 views or something like that. So it's just a matter of, I think, discoverability. It's discoverability having fucking co-commentators you can actually have a conversation with and not just oh yes this is happening damn it's almost like i fucking enter uh mod bc because for all, for all intents and purposes you guys are vetted if you say something on stream it's like yeah oh well it happens it's not like i get some uh some random like off twitter or something that's just gonna be like you know a fucking spurgoid or whatever that's a little bit different it's is it wrong though? <laughs> you just get, oh my god. Uh, uh, oh, uh, if you haven't seen, I got my uh, art back. It's in uh, mod chat. I'm very happy with Zero's work. Yeah, I saw the thing. I haven't actually looked through the Discord much to it. It's fine. It's almost like nothing happens in fucking mod chat anymore. <laughs> no, of course not. Oh, cool. uh, pull the main monitor. Oh, fucking Zero. Why do you not use dark mode? Fucking <laughs> watch me, let's go. <laughs> I specifically requested Zero to do my fucking 
character art in dark mode, so. This one, unexcused absences, seven, disruptive behavior, three, smoking on school property, 11, oh no. Oh, fuck me, dude, this is fucking great. Looks good. Dog. I just gotta find a fucking model or a model. I actually already have one in, uh, in mind. I was working with them earlier. Nice. I could send you it. I sent it to. I sent it over to Yotaka. Uh, right as you answered my question, you repeat that. No, you're fine. No, I get it. Idaho. Trust me, I fucking get it. With someone on CenturyLink in Idaho, I get it. Uh, this will be uploaded to the Kids and Kip TV channel. It's where I upload VODs. Not everything like earlier Destiny 2 doesn't make it to VODs. Like, we're in, like just because I'm not doing anything, right? It's like, hey, I'm doing roulettes in 14 today, or I'm doing like just mindless grinding in destiny or something like that <laughs> fucking crash oh that is actually a good point to do a quick brb on that for uh the vod